Hi folks, we have a milestone firmware update to talk about. It is version 7.3.1, where we've added support for our very first Category 6 4G LTE mobile broadband data device. We've added support for the Huawei E5786. Uh, it is represented in Germany, for instance, by T-Mobile as the Speedbox LTE Mini 2. And it is also available in Australia under both Telstra and Optus, which we've also added support for. Now, LTE Category 6, what does that mean? Well, basically, Category 4 gave us 150 megabit speed throughput with the Bado Pro. Category 6 handles up to 600, oh, sorry, 300 megabits, not 600, 300 megabits uh, 4G speeds. And that is attained through something called carrier aggregation where basically you're bundling the capacity of at least two base stations together. So you're aggregating from two different carriers, as it were. Now, we have added support for, for this device, and we hope to see more devices uh, of this speed come soon. Uh, the Pro model is by far the fastest one we have, and we know that we can do at least 150 megs. We have yet to see what the Pro can handle in terms of full speed throughput and I hope to get those results rather soon but we anticipate it'll be somewhere in the 200s of megabits. Um, we know for a fact that uh, the E5786 uh, can reach somewhere in the mid 200s so that's a good indicator. Now uh, the firmware to look out for as I said is 7.3.1 which I've loaded here on the Devata Pro as you can see there and if we go to the modem section, you also see things like the signal level, which is 80%. It's also available up here. And you have over there modem internal name, E5786S-32A. Now this dash 32A is basically an indicator of which frequency bands it has in its um, chip and uh, which operator normally it, it uh, belongs to. So we've seen different uh, numbers for different operators, like Telstra and Optus have two different versions, as well as T-Mobile. We also have reports that uh, this device is sold in places like France and Singapore. So um, we've tested the speed here at the office with the E5786 directly in the computer without the router, and we got something like 30 megs. Uh, so I'll do a speed test uh, through the router. As you can see, we're connected by Ethernet into the back of the router. And we'll also land somewhere there in the 20 to 30 megabit range. There we go. Okay. This is by no means a representation of the, pos the capabilities of the router. It's more of the fact that we're in a bad radio environment. So we'll try to get hold of better results elsewhere. Nonetheless, it's a, firm, it's a firmware update away and using the Devato Pro, what you're getting out of it is two Wi-Fi antennas, which will gives you much better Wi-Fi reach than what's available here. You also have multiple gigabit ports, uh, four on the LAN and one on the WAN, meaning that this can act as a failover option to your fixed broadband. You also have uh, two USB ports where on the front you can plug in either a secondary USB modem. So for instance, if you leave the house with your post-paid um, high-speed uh, mobile hotspot, you can leave in a 3G prepaid one just to have something running while you're away from home. You can also plug in a hard disk if you want to have a uh, local NAS storage. Now. Um, what can I also say? The power is being fed from the USB port straight into the E5786. So that's a very good thing. So when you come home, you've maybe used up more than half the battery, just plug it in there. And while it's connected to the internet, it's also being charged. All right, we hope you enjoy this firmware release. Take care, bye.